So well friends, today we are to start to discuss another new unit which is very important for detailed experience and for all the students of degree and means undergraduate as well as postgraduate levels. We have already done some classes on the area. Still, you see, becoming specific by analyzing the necessity for appearing at the TET examination, we are to discuss the contents in different manner, particularly relating to the cross concept concerning to the process of learning. Let us discuss. Our discussion today will be preliminary discussion relating to this chapter because we have done some classes on this most important area and by witnessing all those classes you can or you certainly will get the chance to make your ideas relating to the process of learning very clear. Still, if you get the contents of all these discussions means all the, the discussions of today and they means in near future your uh, perception relating to learning will be quite clear. Friends, learning is an important area of psychology and it is resulted or it is the prime concern of the process of teaching too. Psychology emphasizes as you know on the discussion of the process of learning in detail manner because behavioral change which is the basic concern of psychology depends on learning. Without learning, change in behavior or modification of behavior never can take place. Learning is a natural activity. Let us see in the next slide because it is continuing. The living of the living organisms. Natural learning is a natural activity of the living organisms. It is a very common attribute in any human being. Learning is a term used commonly by almost every section of people in their day-to-day -day life. It almost sounds as if the term is well understood by all or needs no definition for clarification. Every day, you see, everybody learns certain things such as walking, talking and writing, etc. necessarily. Besides, certain things are learned by some and not by others because of certain reasons which are psychological and for understanding such reasons we have to understand the spatialities or the spatial characteristics of the functioning of human anatomy. Friends, learning is one of the most important processes and for understanding learning we have to understand psychology. Very definition of the process of learning is modification of behavior through experiences and training. Means in the process of learning two things are very important. One is the experience or the experiences and another is the training or training. And this is one of the most important areas of discussion or you see for all so that by understanding learning we can become successful in the process of teaching or we can become successful in our day-to-day -day life. Let us go back to the next slide. Examples of such things are singing, painting, dancing, sports, etc. where some people expose spatial interest and expertise. In every situation of life, an individual learns something or the other. From the day of birth, an individual learns different things to some extent every day. No doubt, the kind of things one learns at different stages are different because of many reasons means which we see by studying psychology we come to know that there are individual differences are there among all people or among all learners. During childhood one learns motor movements, this is motor movements such as walking, sitting, eye, hand coordination, lifting things, writing, speaking and so on gradually, step by step, step by step. Children learn language in the early stage of life through spelling and accelerates their learning gradually. As learning influences our language, our skills, attitudes, interests, and goals, the efficiency and specialities of individuality or individual personality is also based on learning and exposed by learning. One may be more or less efficient than the other because he is hard learning because of his or her learning capacity, because 
case higher learning capacity is either more or less efficient than the other person which can be noticed in scientific manner when we observe in daily life situations particularly the learning capabilities of different people we meet let us see the next slide Teachers tries to help the students learn by carrying out the different skills, procedures, there should be one comma, methods, techniques, etc. Just as these are the specific, you see, teaching skills, explanations, illustrations, asking questions, giving assignments, raising problems, using teaching aids, holding discussions, conducting projects, summarizing the main points, etc. These are some of the special skills which are basically applied or used by the teachers to disseminate or to transact, you see, or for the dissemination or for the transaction of varied ideas, information and knowledge to the learners. Learning is an active process where Active participation has special importance. It is not a passive observation of, you see, passive observation of knowledge in different situations of life. It is not the mere reading of books or listening to lectures in classroom situations because learning is totally a psychological process and readiness of the learner to learn everything is one of the, you see, one of the preconditions of the process of learning which depends on the physiological as well as the psychic preparedness as well as soundness of the learner. Let us go back to the next slide. All organisms need to understand and interpret their environment and eventually gain some control of our need with the help of learning. Animals need to know where and how to stop their prey for the safety of their life. Human organisms need to nurture and shelter one another and to understand in increasingly the situations of the complex world of existence. Through the fundamental process of learning, an organism begins to establish control over itself on its environment which is in brief which in brief is defined as, let us see in the next slide, defined as, psycho, defined as learning by the psychologist. Defined as learning by the psychologist. Psychologists use the concept of learning repeatedly. Let us go back to the former slide so that one, you see, uh, in brief is defined as this is adaptation. I am very sorry, which in brief is defined as adaptation. On adaptation means existence, survival, adjustment has or have special importance for existence in this very complex and dynamic world. This term adaptation is to be noted down by yourself because it is shadowed under the shadow of the slide. I am so much sorry. So which is which in brief is defined as adaptation. Let us go back to the next slide. Psychologists use the concept of learning repeatedly in the study of behavior because only learning can help us progress in life. Learning essentially consists in the modification of reactions with the help of experience or practice. Every stimulation, every stimulation procedure, every stimulation, I'm sorry, produces some changes in reaction and helps us to learn. For example, in learning a poem for, 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 for the first time, brain and intelligence do not react often easily as they do in the second, third and fourth repetitions of it and help to achieve perfection. Once learning is registered in the brain and intelligence, it generally gives way to facilitate in the form of behavioral modification and this is the prime concern of the process of learning. So friends, this is simply the uh, introductory explanation concerning to the process of learning and the name of the unit is for 10 syllabus is learning and the laws of learning. 
means you are to understand or you are to have the concept of learning so much well. Your concept concerning to learning is to be quite scientific. On that sport, you are to know about in detail the laws of learning. Friends, learning is totally a psychological process. You see, from the standpoint of psychology, learning is the process of modification of behavior through experiences and training on the, when we study or try to understand the definition or the meaning of psychology, we find that it is the science which basically helps us to study the behavioral pattern of all or every living beings on organisms as well as things of this great or extensive and very challenging universe. Friends, by understanding learning, we can understand our life so much well. By understanding learning, we can find out all the, you see, scientific and advanced means and ways for the, for the adaptation in this complex universe or the surrounding where we are existing, where other organisms are living in or existing or things are being, you see, remain in existence. So friends, for understanding life, for understanding society, for understanding civilization, for understanding the spatial characteristics or nature of all the living organisms, for knowing about the importance of the existence of the plants and other, you see, segments in the environment, we are to understand learning so much well. And by understanding learning, we can understand everything, means we can exist in this complex and very challenging, challenging universe, you see, without much trouble. And this is the beginning or this is the introductory class. The other part, particularly the concept of learning and definitions will be discussed in the coming classes. Thank you so much for today.